Hello, Bromigos! Today we're doing the Scary Skull Rainbow Style Design. Thank you for tuning into my channel, I Paint You by Brie. This is Brie here talking. I'm going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to do this face paint, so let's get started. I like to keep all of my sponges in a ice cube tray. It works super well to keep them organized and um, in the same place. I have the two teardrop sponges, the two blue ones there at the end. I use one for white and one for pearlescent white. The first color we're using in this design is going to be the Glitter White by Fab. It's pearly white. It has some sparkles in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorite colors ever, especially for skulls. It's great for Dee Los Marthos skulls and it's wonderful for this design. So I like to spray the sponge first, and get it nice and dampened, and then pick up that color. Make sure, test the consistency to make sure it's not drippy. All right, so we're gonna be starting by pouncing that sponge around the outside of the eyebrows. Um, imagine that you're making massive goggles on a person's face. So don't worry about the eyelid part, that's gonna be black, so you don't need to paint that right now at all. So going underneath the eyes too, so rounding out those areas. So you can see there's a little dip at the forehead and then it's rounded on both sides. Round. And then we're going to be taking some more of that pearly white and putting it on the bottom over by the lips. Um, so if you imagine like a straight, two straight down lines starting from the nose coming down. Um, I don't go all the way to the chin. I'm gonna stop right underneath that lip. So getting just some of that pigmentation down there too. Okay. And that's the base work of this design. Okay, next I'm taking my split cake. This is Silly Farms Rainbow Glitter Rainbow Cake. It's all metallic. Every color in there is metallic. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm using a split sponge and I'm just going to be spraying the sponge first, not the split cake. Um, and then going up and down there to pick up some of that color. I, I love all of the colors, so I wanna make sure that I get all of them. So starting there, pressing down the corners into the purple and then the other corner into the pink guarantees that I get all of those colors. Okay, I'm gonna start with the blue on the tippy top right there where that little dip is. And you want to concentrate the color on the outside of the design. So really pressing harder on the outside there um, to get those colors kind of powdery looking um, and you get a gradient. So on the nose though, I'm flipping the sponge so that I can get that a rainbow nose, <laughs> basically. <laughs> the whole rainbow on the nose. Be careful to not move the sponge when you decide to put it in a certain place. Just keep that sponge nice and straight um, and consistent with with that um, area because you don't want to make the colors muddy, which happens easily with a rainbow. Okay, so putting some on the bottom there too. All right, I'm just reinforcing the color. I want it to be nice and nice cool tones on the outside. And there's the rainbow part of that design. Isn't that pretty? I love the rainbows. Well, obviously I love rainbows. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick my Grotius sponge, which is the most stained sponge because we're gonna be using that side for black. All right, this is gonna go above the eyes, so you wanna make sure the consistency of the paint is not drippy. It's gonna, it, you want it to be powdery, but full. Okay, so picking up the paint, I, I like to test it on my hand, and I'll show you what it looks like. See, it's kind of powdery. And then when you press harder, there's definitely a lot of pigmentation in there. So using the shape of the sponge, the half circle shape, kind of matching it with the half circle shape of the eyelid, that's, what, that's how you can use the sponge to fill in the space perfectly for any skull design. All right, using the flat part over the eyelid. And bam, you got your eyelids filled in just like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. We're going to be going in with some line work later anyway, so it don't it don't matter. Switching to my low Cornell number four, I use this brush for almost all of my line work. Now I'm gonna be picking up some Wolf Black, which is my, my line work black. Always too, it just works really well. You wanna load up the sponge fully, all of the bristles filled with creamy color, okay? We're gonna start at the dip of the forehead and then round out 
and then a little dip on the corner of the eye and round out towards the bottom, okay? So we're gonna do it again. Round and dip and round and straight down. Round. <laughs> okay, picking up some more of my black. I'm gonna be doing two somewhat like parentheses lines, starting nice and strong on the corner of the lip and then just trickling out into a, a, a little line on the bottom. Then this is the fa eyebrow. This is what makes the scary skull look mad even when they're smiling. All right, so um, I've heard, I mean, I'm sure you've heard the saying, or your eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins. So don't be afraid to make them a little different. Because I always do. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a few more little crack lines. Actually, these are two lines underneath the eye that are just like a continuation there of that black abscess. And um, it, it helps like finalize the emptiness of the eyes there. Um, and then we're gonna make a few crack lines coming out of those areas, okay? So I'm doing two in the corner, um, three on the outside bottom part. Loading up some more paint on my brush, I'm gonna be doing the nose part. These are two teardrops and starting in the middle of the nose, pushing down then really just thinning up you're gonna do two of these. They are kind of like parentheses lines also. Okay, next we're gonna do the teeth. So starting on the lips, I'm gonna be pulling out straight up and down line, smack in the middle of the mouth. And then on the two sides, think of them as parentheses lines also, um, starting always on the inside of the mouth and then going up so that they thin into a real, real little spiky line. All right, same thing on the bottom. You may have space for two of these lines on each side. You may have space for three or four or however many you want to. Um, there is no perfection in this. There's no perfect amount of lines. It's about expression, okay? So have fun with it. Next, we're doing cracks. All right, on the tippy top of the forehead, I'm gonna make a very thin little line. So imagine that you're painting with a delicate feather and these are kind of like roots or um, like branches or like veins, okay? And these are the cracks in the skull and this is what makes this design a little extra scary. Kids absolutely love these lines. I've had children demand these lines before when I didn't give them enough. <laughs> All right, so that's the, the ones on the forehead. They kind of fan out. And I'm gonna do two on each side there by the cheekbones. And they are veiny, so you can see they're like branches. Um, you can also twist the brush while you paint if you want to. Um, if you want to force yourself to not control the brush, guys. And that is the last step of this design. And I do this on my gigs all the time. They're, this design is very popular. It's becoming increasingly so, I think, with the release of the film Coco. Uh, yeah, and the kids just love it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe this video, it would mean the world to me. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy face painting, and I'll see you next time for another video tutorial. Bye.